When you get a puppy with the intent of having a future camping partner and hiking companion, one thing that I recommend that you're doing if you're getting a dog with the purposes of this is that you do some simple exercises with your dog to help acclimatize you to your dog's weight as it grows. This helps build your body strength and helps acclimatize the dog to the different positions that the dog will experience later in life and also in an emergency situation if you have to evacuate that dog from the woods you want the dog to remain as calm as possible when you are lifting it out because you may have to lift it up in a very strange and alien position to the dog and you want the dog to feel comfortable. One of the first exercises that I like to do with my dog is do arm curls. Now I like to use a body harness as you know from earlier videos because this is safer for the dog. There's no strain on their neck. And what I do is I hold the harness just to make sure they're safe and I'll stretch them out and curl them up. Just like curls with weights. And what this does is it helps build your upper arm strength, helps get the dog used to being pulled up because if your dog is lying on the ground injured, you put your arms underneath and you pull them up. So that action, you want the puppy to be very used to this action. Another exercise I like to do with the dog is I like to have them up on my shoulders just so that they get used to it. Swing her around and hold her by her harness on the top and the bottom. That way if she wiggles, she is completely safe. This is a position for if you're going through a river or a waterway and your dog can't swim very well or it's a very strong current and they're a small dog, you will want to have them up on your shoulder. See, when they wiggle, they are safe. There's a good girl. Yeah. And again, notice that I am holding her weight properly the whole time. I'm having her cradled. Another important exercise that you want to do with your dog is to teach them to be draped across the back of your shoulders. This is very important if your dog is unconscious and unresponsive. You can just put them right up over your shoulders because that is the best way for you to distribute their weight. So what I do is I always sit on the floor when I'm doing this. And if you have a puppy who is especially wiggly, like Callie is today, put your back against a sofa. That way, if they do fall, they will not be injured. Ready? Huh? Yes, good girl. Just take it as slow as your individual dog needs. And you can even start out not even lifting them on your shoulder, but just having them lay there behind you like this. Just get them used to being around the shoulders. This next exercise, I highly recommend that you do wearing a heavy sweater. Um, I recommend Polish sleeves denim or leather because they are tough materials and they're non-slip. Now what I, I'm going to do is I'm going to get Callie to stall on my shoulders. This teaches her to leap onto me. Callie, stall. Good girl. Good girl. Stall. This makes getting up on your shoulders more fun. Oops, good girl. Another exercise is to have her stall on your back. This helps with your back strength and her balance. Same as stalling on my shoulders, it's about her balance mostly and also getting her used to being up there. Hello? Stall? Good girl. You can see that she is a little bit wobbly and that's because she's her muscles have not acclimatized to balancing herself. Callie? Good girl. Stop. Good 
good girl. Here's a girl. Another exercise that I like to do with my dog is to have her stall on my legs while I'm laying on my back. This exercise really helps your leg muscles. Um, I started this when Callie was six weeks, six weeks old and she weighed maybe two or three pounds. And I found it really hard to keep my legs raised and elevated with her on them. But now I find it quite easy and she's almost five months old. So it shows you that as your dog grows, they are like a perpetually growing barbell. As they slowly gain their weight, it helps build your muscle strength because they're slowly adding more resistance to the routine. Ready, Callie? Sit. Sit. Okay, stall. Now this really helps their balance. As you can see, she is a bit wobbly. But she's much better than she was when she was six weeks. At six weeks old, she the only thing she could do was lay on top of me. Yeah? And this also is a really good exercise for your abs because you're straining like this. And it's almost like doing curls. Sit up. Now, I like to hold the arms. Huh? Come on. And raise and lower your legs if they'll allow you. She's really excited because I have kibble. Yeah, now she's gone. Just raise and lower your legs. And this helps build your muscle as well as getting her used to using her balance. There. There's a good girl. Here you go. And it's also a really good exercise for toning your abs and building up that core strength that you may need when you are in the woods with your dog. Because if your dog is going to get to be a larger dog, like Callie, between 30 and 40 pounds, you want to have good core strength so that you can evacuate her if she needs it. Or you can restrain her in the event that there's a wild animal around. You want to make sure you're strong enough to control your dog. Here, Cal. Sit. No. Another exercise that I like to do with my dog that most people see as just purely an entertainment trick is sit pretty. Sit pretty helps them to build up their muscles in their, in their hind quarters. And it also helps them with their balance and sometimes their concentration because when they're really intent, on getting their treat, they will stay for a long time in that position. Okay. Pretty. Good. And you can also add other little things into the sit pretty, which helps the balance. Is wave like that. That helps her to balance because she's moving and she has to constantly adjust how her muscles are moving. That's a good girl. Other exercises is anything that's jumping and moving, just to help them develop more muscle in their body. Because not only do you have to be muscular and strong enough to work with your dog, the dog also has to be strong so that they can they have more endurance in the wilderness. Any jumping exercise helps your dog to build their leg muscles. And also, by doing this, you're helping your dog build trust in you because when people, they grab at dogs with both their arms, when you're going and letting her jump through, you're showing her that arms around her can be fun and it's not a bad thing. Good Callie. Good girl. 